Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a let's play of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, it's worth telling you that this is my first ever Fire Emblem game. I'd seen the series here and there, but never decided to actually play it. I don't really know why. It seems like something that would be right up my alley. It seems perfect for me, but for some reason, I never have. So I'm looking forward to this because it's, it's a brand new experience for me, so it's got to be all exciting. So please, if you have any little gameplay tips, not, not things that will destroy the gameplay for me, just if I'm like not sure of something, please be like helpful with me and, and, and sort me out there and we can get through this nice and simply. That's all I want. So any, any help? A bit like how we were with Pokemon. Like people were lovely with that series. So if you can help me out in the same way, I'd absolutely love that. So thank you ahead of time for that. Also, a bit of housekeeping, as always these days. If you want to support the channel, you can do over at Patreon. I'm there as the Twitter Gamer. But don't worry, I'm not going to be spamming you throughout this entire Let's Play being like, Hey guys, support me here! No, no, no. That is not my way. I'm only going to mention it during part one and the final part with the credits. Simple as that. Like, I will not bring it up when I'm speaking, etc. Just not my way. Not my way. So anyway, I think it's about time we got going, didn't we? It's going to be a bit of fun this time. It's all exciting. It's all a new experience to me. Like I said, any gameplay tips, very much appreciated. So, let's go. No spoilers for the story, by the way. Nothing. Gameplay? Yes. Story? No. Right, so, normal. For beginning and intermediate players, definitely me. Like I said, new to this. Now, I do know that this game is known for, like, its permadeath. Sort of similar to Valkyria Chronicles in that way. And I don't want to turn that off. Why would I want to turn that off? That seems like it's a thing about this series. So it's like, no, of course we're going classic. Fallen units are lost forever. Every decision counts. It's like, no, we're going with that. Uh, no, we don't want to connect and play online. No, no, no. Other people. Ugh. I like this little loading bar. It's cute. Hail Tian planes? Oh, I wasn't expecting this level of animation. Instantly impressed as a result. I mean, this instantly screams to me that this is going to be a quality game. Absolutely loving the animation style already. Why is she just standing there? going to be one of those things where it's like, I don't need to move to beat you. Oh crap, she's coming for him. That's a gutsy move. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! <laughs> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! Oh, he is very dead.
He's gone now, Mother. What was that about? What's going on here? Here. Is she speaking to me? I wonder how you got in here. I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Very rude indeed. Oh, I do apologize. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Ah, yes, this is one of the few things I knew, like, there's a few things going into this that I knew. I knew about the permadeath, I know it's a strategy game, I know there's something to do with relationships, not too knowledgeable on that, let's put it like that, and, yeah, so, you can pick a protagonist, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, my only real proper knowledge of anything Fire Emblem is that I know two characters from Fire Emblem Heroes because my girlfriend voices them. That's it. That's pretty much it. So, right, let's actually get on with this and choose the uh, female protagonist. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Ooh. I don't, hmm. It's one of those things where it's like, does this change anything? Kind of want to go with I'm a ghost, just because it's sort of like, what would that impact? I don't think I am a ghost, but it's sort of like, let, let's, let's go with my gut instinct. Let's go with I'm a ghost. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Oh, very well. See, I'm wondering if I'm going to say, like, I'm a mortal, and she's going to be like, no, you're not. She's like, oh. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. I mean, I'd have a name if I was a ghost. We'll just go with that. Bailef? Bailef? Someone let me know the pronunciation there, please. Yes, it is. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. I know exactly how you feel. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Um, let's just make it my birthday. So, the 9th and the 13th. Which, of course, if you actually check the calendar and see what day... September 13th falls this year. Lovely. Yes. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Now, I don't think this is the case, but it would be interesting if, like, no, that is her day of birth, and other people who played this game didn't share it. That would be interesting. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. I would love to have a nap. <sighs> yes, indeed. It is almost time to begin. I'm hoping there's some options at some point because I need to change the sound levels, I feel. Bump the voices up. What is that logo? Symbol. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? Hmm. Oh. So the bit at the beginning was our dream completely. So the war and the young girl was dream. I thought he was just referring to like the one we just had. So. Um. Hmm. Let's, let's mention the war. Because to me that seems more prevalent. Because that is very, very strange. Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. 
Our next job is in the kingdom. The kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Um, of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Ah, so we saw some affection stuff there, I assume. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives. Not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait. That uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn. There were a lot of them. What about that uniform? I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. A skirmish at dawn. Prologue. An inevitable encounter. Okay, we're at the gameplay then. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Okay, movement. Select a unit and then move next to an enemy. While your unit is next to an enemy, the command window will open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. Okay. All right, do I have options? Stay focused. I don't want that. It's like, do I have any options at all? Maybe I have to be off of a character. Ah, yes. I was just thinking, like, I'm not getting options here, but if I'm off the character, it's fine. It comes up. Okay, because I'm after this. I don't want to mess around with the battle ones. I just... Ooh. No, I don't want to mess around that yet. Oh. It's all at full anyway. Well, music down. There's nothing wrong with, like, the music or anything like that. It's just I want the voices to be higher. So it's like I just need the actual music to be down. I, I, I think that's good. Um, I'll turn the rumble off, or I was just going to waste the battery, and I don't really pay attention to the rumble these days. Right, so not messing around with that yet, because I'm not 100% on that. I just wanted the options. Right, so let's start with El Edelgard? Edelgard? I don't know. Claude there. I, I know Claude. I've, I've seen mention of him around all over the place. Right, so... I will prevail. Let's move you there. And then attack. With an iron axe. Ooh, we have two HP left. Okay. Weak. Something about this that's reminding me of Total War in a way. Oh no. A weapon will break when, repeatedly, when repeated use brings its durability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might, mit, and hit rate will be reduced, and enemies will make follow up attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons. You cannot repair them mid battle. Okay, so you've taken your turn then. Right, so how do turns work in this? That's the thing. Let me what were you. Attack when Iron Lance. Yeah, he'll be dead. Is that all? Battle menu. Ah, there we go. Choose the battle menu to create bookmark saves, view tutorials, and more. To access it, press the A button when the cursor is on a space without an active unit. There you go. Battle phases. Once all your units have taken action, ah, right, it's, it's the phase. I, I just gotta be sure though. So, player phase, enemy phase, got it. So, once all units have taken action, player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. You can end the player phase early by selecting end from the battle menu. Okay, so we can move up at least. Ooh, combat bows. Bows can attack from long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. Hmm. They are highly effective against flyers like Pegasus Knights and Wyvern Riders. Ready and willing. So we'll just move up there. We'll wait. Move you there. Convoy? Well, we'll, we'll wait for it to tell me about the convoy. Can I not move horsey man? We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. 
Okay. Certain terrain will have effects on the unit occupying it. Forests, for instance, raise a unit's evasion and defense. Cool. Move the units to advantageous terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. And it also stealth me? Because that'd be interesting. So, hmm. So I'm assuming it's next to it. Is it just that's how far I can go? Yeah, there we go. Because I can go inside that one. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Terrain types. Forests are not the only terrain type you will encounter. Keep an eye out for others, such as thickets and hill tiles. You can see the effects of terrain by placing a cursor over it. Press the X button on an empty space to toggle terrain information and unit icons. Let's do that here. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's move you up into there. And we'll wait. So, if I tell you to... Oh. No, you can't attack there. Fine. We'll go there and we'll wait. Enemy phase. You get, like, combo attacks, like two people attacking the same person. We shall see, I suppose. Like I said, little gameplay tips, like like questions like that where, like, can you get two people attacking at the same time? That's stuff I'd want to know, but anything story-wise, no, 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 no. It's nice to see their XP going up at that point. Fine opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. Ooh. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual. Uh, they do not typically allow for follow-up attacks. Units learn new combat arts when their weapon skills go up. There are no combat arts for reason or faith. These skills grant magic instead. Okay, I'm going to have to learn what that's about. Or you guys could tell me. It should be very, very helpful. So, combat arts, smash, and axe, there. Ooh. Your defeat was inevitable. Apparently. Hey, look at you. So if I went there, combat arts, curved shot. Yeah, we'll do it on this guy. Where'd that come from? It was a good try. Let's move. I'll go ahead there. Then combat arts. It's probably good to have a little stock of swords and stuff, I suppose. As expected. Indeed. Using items. Select the items option to change your equipped weapons, or to use items such as the vul vulnerary. Funeri? I don't know. Which restores your unit's hit points. It's a potion. Do I have to do that? Is there any, Ah, there is other enemies. I was just going to say, like, is there other enemies around and that's what it's waiting for? Wait, wait. I thought that was it. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Oh, now he decides to come. All right, then an item icon on an enemy indicates that you will get the item that is highlighted green in the unit's details display when you defeat them. So can I view that now? Oh, no. Okay. We head down there. If I actually... We'll go there. Combat Arts, Tempest Lance, get you. That's one less to deal with. Ooh, so close to a level up -o. I think if I go there instead. Hey! You with the blank stare! Out of my way! What? Yeah. 
Ooh, gotta be careful there. I definitely need a potion. Level up, though. Lovely. Ding, ding, ding. Getting stronger. I can feel it. What the? Aren't you Gerald the Bladebreaker? What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? Just felt like I'd stop by. I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Well, that was a great start. You came in and missed. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. I mean, you didn't hit them. All right. When you attack an enemy that is also in attack range of one or more of your other units, you will trigger a linked attack. That answers that, doesn't it? During a linked attack, you avoid your avoid rate, AVO, okay, and hit rate are higher than normal. Linked attacks between certain units will also raise your mit. Good use of linked attacks is key to defeating powerful enemies. Linked attacks will also build support among units involved. Okay. So I'm thinking. I do that. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. Because that went up then. I saw it happen. Combat arts. Cool. Level up, though. We must all do our part. Now the question is: Do I get full health after leveling up? Did I just get an axe in my back? Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. Are you inside my head? Hmm. How did you get inside my head? Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. Sothis. And I am also called the beginning. But who once called me that? The Alpha, not the Omega. What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Not really, no. That child's just saved your life. And what does that make you? I am no child. <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but are you truly an adult? You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. And we died, apparently. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Alright, steady on now. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? Uh, what will happen when time resumes? That's what I was thinking, like... Won't the axe still hit me? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. How 
rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? I assume we can turn back time. Turn back the hands of time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. There's that symbol. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. So essentially what we've got is foresight. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. It's one way of putting it. You just... Maybe. The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? I assume you know him then. Ooh, skirmish at dawn. MVP. She did turn back time. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself, anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. I'd imagine him being, being like, sort of like, Yeah, I was trying to escape you, you fool. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? How dare you? Um, hmm. He, oh. Go with the I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. Ah, uh, yes, this is a joke. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Can you not talk inside my head? It's quite off-putting. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Well, this will probably be quite annoying, a voice in our head. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father... That would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker, former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Hmm. I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrigmach Monastery. 
We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. He's got a point. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Sorry, sorry, I've got something else in mind. Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? well it's obvious which one I'm going for, but I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to wait until the next part to find out, which should be coming up later today at some point. We shall see. So we shall see you in the next part when I choose which house I'm going to go with. Indeed. We shall see you then. Ta-ta for now.